Hello, everyone. Welcome. So just going to be reviewing the GDP JPY trade for the New York session today. Just going to be breaking this down. So um, I've now secured everything. Um, I just secured everything at 10, 10 11 pips. Um, I decided just to secure. I was, I was going to let a uh, one lot run, but then um, I just thought, you know what, I'll just uh, make back the loss from the Asian session. and. Uh, Close, close a day in profit, I think that's more important. Um, so yeah, so just going over um, what happened here. So obviously we had this uh, resistance uh, up over here, right? Um, from yesterday, I presume, yeah, I think so. Um, and we came up and we broke out of this area yeah, into the pre-New York session. So, candle closed above this area wick in the direction so at this point you would have expected um price to create like a wick down maybe continue moving bullish it didn't it broke the high over here closed bearish okay but it is still respecting this resistance that we had now at this point i was thinking that we had if we look to the left it's like this other minor uh, resistance area so i was thinking maybe price is reacting to that so then we have this like so, sort of area up here okay and then if i in fact, if I just um, neaten that up a little bit, so you can see what my thought was, is that it was very minimal, but this next bullish candle engulfed the previous bearish candle. So it's almost like now this is not a resistance, this is now a support. So if we look left, we see that now price has formed a support here on this area here. So now what we're saying is, the next candle needs to respect the low of the previous bullish candle and continue moving bullish. So once I saw price had come down, wicked right into this area, started pulling back up, I took my buy entry with the anticipation that we'd fill this wick and continue pushing up to target, which we saw happen there. Okay, and I secured um, profits at 10, 10, 11 pips. Um, I think price should still continue moving bullish to 136, but... To be honest, um, yeah, I just wanted to keep it keep it simple, get get in and out. Um, so yeah, nice, um, really really good trade. Um, definitely, if you missed the move, you wanna you wanna be looking at how you could have caught the move. Um, and yeah, it was it was a te textbook 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 buy. Um, Gave us gave us the indication because this we got to think when price is coming up bullish into the London Open, um, it's looking left and it sees this clean move now. Now when it comes to this area, if 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 we didn't have buy opportunity, candles would not be breaking this area. I and mean, this is what we saw. We saw our breakout. Now the next thing is this was like the high that price made, and then we came. And from the support of this area, wicked back down. So essentially, essentially, if you look, right, we had this area here, right, and price was tapping into this, and we're leaving. Then we can say we have sort of this area here, buy orders leaving, okay, and then you see we have this sort of area here, coming up and leaving. Now we're tapping into this area here. And we're seeing candles pulling away from these areas. So we're leaving these areas. So so essentially, we're seeing, it's like the same thing here, right? Same example. If I just remove this. Essentially, we did the same here, right? You saw we had like these wicks, price tapping into this zone, we're leaving. Price coming up into this area, we were leaving. Coming down into this area, we're leaving. But here's the ironic thing. Look, look, look what happens. So when we were leaving this area, right, if we stretch this left, it matches up with the area we're leaving now to go bullish. Now do you see, now do you see connections? Because same thing here, right? We had the orders to come down and now we have wicks leaving this area again. So 
another example down the bottom here. We had these wicks here. We had the close, we did the fake out, and then same when we were coming bullish. We're pulling away. So what does that tell you? So what does that tell you? This is where you need to think about, well, how can I, how can I trade based off of this? How can I trade based off of this? So you need to think to yourself, okay, let's, 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 let's do a little learning, learning help. I'll put this up for the Instagram. So it's going to be a good, good learning lesson. So how, how do you, how do you, um, how do you learn, how do you uh, gauge from this, right? So essentially what we're saying is, is say we can't see all of this for a sec, right? Um, let's say, let's do it candle by candle. Right, okay. Let's just say, let's just say that all you can see is this candle here, right? This is, this is what we're seeing. So we're seeing prices coming up and it's tapping into this area here, right? Oh, don't happen there. It's tapping into this area here, right? So essentially, what we want to see is because we can look at what price is telling us, the fact we have wicks here, right? And we're leaving this area at wicks down over here, and we're leaving it. So we have wicks in this area, okay? So now, what we want to see is we want to see price as we're coming bullish, leave in this area so what happens we see the next candle we've now broken up so now now we want to see price maybe come and tap into this area right so in fact right okay let's just go from there so now we want to see price tapping into this area this bearish candle taps into this area and closes essentially above these wicks right the next candle taps into this area and closes bullish. So now we have a support at this area. So now, here's the thing. You could have either entered on the close because the support with stops below the, can, uh, the wicks because you're anticipating that now this is support. So we should now leave this area essentially and continue pushing. So we're saying a transfer there, right? But at the same time, um, you you don't know how much price may wick down. You know we've seen um, price can you know come out and um, stop you out and then continue in the other direction. So if you maybe let price create some form of top wick uh, bottom wick sorry first, then you can essentially get an, a feel that we're going to tap into this area and we're going to start leaving. Okay, so essentially you're looking for entries in this sort of range above this area with stops below this area because you're anticipating we're now going to pull away off to the next area here that's essentially what we're saying so i mean yeah um that that is that is uh how i would see that and to be honest if you miss that move is you know there's there's always tomorrow that's what you gotta think um but it's always a learning lesson. There's always a, a, a learning lesson um, to to do. So, yeah. So I'll do a, uh, a written analysis. Um, and, yeah, pretty much, pretty much, um, I'll, yeah, I'll break it down. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll post it um, for the, for the, for the gram. Um, but essentially, that's how you would have caught these buys. And to be honest, um, you know, you 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 had to be patient. Um, this is where patient patience pays at the end of the day. Okay, um, but if you got runners, I mean, I think I think a good target. If we go to the daily time frame, yeah. See, prices come up and tapped into this sort of resistance. But I mean, who knows? Maybe it's gonna come up fill these. Orders up here, who knows? Um, but go down to the four hour, yeah. Four hour, yeah. Four hours reacting to these wicks at the moment. But we'll have to see, probably, probably may see a wick fill, but 
we'll uh, we'll we'll see. One hour's reacting to this area, but this is why I just wanted to secure profits because I know I wouldn't feel comfortable. It's about my comfortability. So I know that uh, I don't know if you watch um, watched it live stream, but I heard him mention about. Um, uh, I think Ted was talking about comfortability. Um, he's he's got his spot on. It's all about comfortability. I don't I don't want to risk fifty percent of my position when I can just potentially just close. So I know I wanted to leave a one lot running, but that's because I, I thought price was gonna maybe continue at that moment up and head up to one thirty six uh, one thirty six six hundred. But pulled back and I just secured at like eleven pips. So I'm happy with that. Um, so yeah. Pretty much, um, pretty much that's it for GDP JPY. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later at the Asian session.